Harvey's wrath, yet another humbling display of Mother Nature's power. Outside the obvious impact on people, pets, and property, there's possibly a hidden hassle for consumers down the road. They're predicting over 500,000 vehicles that are going to enter into the market. Jay Grossman, CEO and founder of iAuto Agent, warns of flood damaged cars flooding the market. Some of them are going to have branded titles that say that the vehicle's been involved in a flood, but there's going to be a mysterious amount of them that just magically slip through the cracks. Grossman says reputable dealerships will inspect vehicles for flood damage, while unscrupulous dealerships will buy flood damage cars cheap. They're going to just try to take advantage of trying to sell a vehicle really, really quick and a low a dollar amount and then just move on to the next person and not really care about the, the individual, unfortunately. It might not just be dealers looking to take advantage. In Texas, it's 100% uh, damage to the car to total out a car. Grossman suggests car owners with less serious flood damage may want to get rid of their rides to avoid future problems that could pop up. So buyer beware, especially when buying online. When you look at a car online, you see a picture. And pictures can be manipulated. From the trunk, you can actually get water underneath there to the cabin. If it's submerged in water, you're going to start seeing oxidation on the metal, and that is a very big clue that the car could have been in, in, in underwater. And the roof. Water will get in there and it'll start to bubble up around the edges of the sunroof. Check every nook and cranny because Grossman says car history reports aren't always accurate. His other advice? Always get a pre-purchase inspection on a car from an independent third-party inspection company. For Fox 2 and KPLR 11, I'm Mike Colombo.